today at the Art Institute of Tampa, five high school students are here to compete in the 2009 Teen Chef competition. That's right, and today's winner will receive a scholarship to the Art Institute and a chance to compete at Nationals for the title Best Teen Chef 2009. I'm Robert Pearson. And I'm Jessica Collins. Now let's go meet the contestants. I'm Will Collins, Hollis Brookline High School. I'm here for the 2009 Best Teen Chef competition. My uncle, he was a chef that worked on the cruise liner. He used to always make these really, really delicious things for me. So that's what really got me into it. My name is Morgan Turner and I go to Lyman High School. I've always kind of gotten into cooking, my mom and dad cooking the house. Even when I was little, I'd play in my little kitchen and I always had my own little way of cooking things. I just sort of picked it up as I got older. So and I really enjoy it now. I love cooking Italian food. That's my favorite. I love Italian food. Hi, my name is Steven Starr and I'm from South Center High School. Um, so what is it that made you want to be a chef? Weekends with my aunt and uncle, uh, cooking in the kitchen with my mom, stuff like that. Like what's your favorite meal? Probably the gumbo recipe I submitted for this competition. My name is William Collier. I'm from Wilson High School. My dad was a chef in the Navy for about 20 years, and he just used to cook at home all the time, and you just really can't just be around that much cooking and not, you know what I'm saying, let it grow on you. And plus, I love to eat, and if you love to eat, it would be great to know how to cook. Brittany Porter, I'm from Lakewood High. My mom always worked in restaurants and I just I grew up around the whole atmosphere and I started picking it up when I was in ninth grade and I just kind of grew into it more and more as the years progressed. Earlier today, the contestants and their families gathered for a pre-competition breakfast where they were briefed on the stipulations of the competition. Now the contestants are preparing for the next two and a half hours of fierce competition. Each contestant will prepare a shrimp cocktail, a sautéed breast of chicken with a side of broccoli and rice pilaf. Let's watch as the contestants prepare and show off their knife skills for the judges. Who will prove to be just a flash in the pan and who will best handle the heat? Now that the contestants have finished prep, it's time for the real challenge. Each contestant has been given a half a pound of frozen shrimp, one lemon, one cucumber, and four ounces of prepared cocktail sauce to make their shrimp cocktail. Saute chicken, each contestant was given two four ounce skinless boneless chicken breasts with three quarters of a pound of broccoli and one pint of long grain rice. Each contestant was given optional ingredients to use as well.
I, you know, the only thing about number four that I would say in, in his uh, in his defense is that I mean, he was he was the only one that I noticed who was really kind of tasting to a large degree. And, he was, I, and, and, and that too, with Morgan as well. You could have done surgery on number five's table. I told Savannah it was almost Zen-like. Yeah. You know, um, very very uh, precise. For Morgan, Morgan really really stepped up. I mean, her chicken was just sensational. Yeah, I couldn't have cooked a better chicken. Yeah, yeah. she nailed it. And um, when when you, she did the rice in the in, in, in the oven, you know, nice and wrapped up. And um, I think she she did an awesome job. William from New Hampshire. He has the same with a cheesecloth, and somebody showed him something, but he gets stuck on the way a little bit. William seems very technically gifted. You know, he seems like he leans more towards technique. Well, time is up, Robert, and now it's time for the judges to step in and taste these delicious looking plates. Number five shrimp cocktail is looking exceptional, Jessica. The presentation will go a long way with the judges. I don't know, Robert. I think number one's chicken is looking rather delicious. You know those judges want flavor. Well, let's listen in and see what they think. How oh, you taste the, the oil? It's amazing. I mean, the, the frying pan looked look scary. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. That good? Yummy. Yeah, oh, no. You don't like the what? He doesn't like the chicken. That's the best chicken yet. In terms of flavor and texture. Mm -hmm. Look at the size oh, of yeah, the stock. Oh, nice yeah, the crunch. Look at the size oh, of the it. stock, I think, helped. I have to give him the rice though. The rice is good. I was just going to say that the texture of the rice is perfect. Yeah. She also didn't use ice water, which I liked. So she, she peeled them first, mm -hmm. but then she, I don't know, she realized or said, mm, I'm not going to put them after they cooked in ice water to lose all the flavors. So she just let them sit on the plate, which is okay if you undercook it a touch. The sauce has a nice mouthfeel to it. I mean, the, the texture is okay. It's I think presentation overall it was almost the nicest. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it is because nice. The, the mushrooms on the rice was a nice little touch. Mm -mm. I love that sauce. That was, that was right. really, that left a nice aftertaste. This one is a little more complex. It's just very peppery. It's extremely peppery. We like the complement of vegetables with the mushrooms and tomatoes you put next to it. I mm -hmm. think that's nice. From a textural standpoint, a flavor standpoint, it goes well. Yeah. It, oh, it's, it, a, it's a restaurant shrimp, right? Squeeze, yeah. squeeze bottle would have been perfect. Or she could have done some that. Well, it looks as though the judges are done deliberating, Jessica. That's right, Robert. Right now, they're going over the contestants' plates with them. I hope they didn't judge too harshly. These are high school students after all. I think they did a remarkable job today, Jessica. It's too bad that some have to leave empty-handed. Well, Robert, that's not true. Each contestant will receive a certificate for participation today. That's great. Well, it looks like the places have been announced. Let's see who's won. I'm Will Collins, and I got third place. I thought the competition was great. Everybody did an amazing job. I really love this whole this whole thing. I wish I could do it again. It was really great. My name is Martin Turner, and I got second place. I'm really excited. I'm, I'm glad. I'm really happy I did it. You think you have 90 minutes and it just goes by like that. It's, it's so quick, you have no idea. Good luck to Brittany. She did really good. So I hope she does well at the competition. I'm Brittany Porter and I won first place. It was nerve wracking, but I'm glad I did it. I'm pretty excited. I'm going to Charlotte. It was a pleasure competing with you guys, and I'm glad all of you made it to this round and was able to share this experience with me. I will never forget it, and thank you so, so much. It's been a great day here at the Art Institute. Yes, it has, Robert. Everyone did an amazing job. Oh, and congratulations to Brittany for winning first place today. She deserved it. Yes, she did, Robert, but now it's time for us to say goodbye. See you next time for the Teen Chef Competition 2010.